Law from 1988 making it more difficult for parents to have a child through a surrogate may soon be on the way out. Rachel Louise Just breaks down a package of bills that advocates say would better protect parents, children, and surrogates. When you Google surrogacy, the first result that pops up explains the practice requires a legal contract. But in Michigan, if you did that, you'd face up to a $10,000 fine and a year in prison. Michigan is the only state in the nation that has made it a crime to have a surrogacy contract, but that may soon change. No one wants a child left vulnerable, and that is exactly where so many children find themselves in Michigan. Stephanie Jones was able to have her son naturally, but after a traumatic injury, she needed help to expand her family. It really is, you know, an eye-opening experience to go through infertility because we as a society, you know, we're not really that great about talking about it. Because of Michigan's ban on surrogacy contracts, Jones was forced to go out of state to have her daughter. This is not an uncommon practice at all. Samantha Steckloff was diagnosed with breast cancer at 31. She survived, but the disease took her ability to have a child naturally or adopt before she was in her 50s. It's a lot of places you have to be with through treatment by 10 years. When she learned surrogacy was off the table too, she decided to take matters into her own hands, running for office, winning, and now sponsoring the bills that would, in part, take away criminal penalties for surrogacy. This package of bills is gonna change everything for them in Michigan. The bills would go beyond making it easier for Michiganders to access assisted reproduction. The proposals may soon be more relevant than ever as more women are choosing to have children later on in life. Census data shows that less women are choosing to have children in their 20s and 30s, and more women are having children in their 40s. In Lansing, Rachel Louise Just.